Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, back today with just the preview of the Capcom bar that opened today in Shinjuku. And this is a video and some still shots of the bar and what I ate there and what it's like. So this is actually me waiting outside about an hour before it's giving out tickets. But there's the sign. And another sign. But yeah, here's my seating number. I was number six and seven in line. And this is the order sheet. So it actually lists the menu. If you can read Japanese, you're all good. But you can see it's not that expensive, actually. Not, none of the none of the items cost more than a thousand yen. Well, not none, but most. You can see there's only two items on the food menu that cost more than a thousand yen. So it's pretty reasonable in price. And here's the drink menu. And what's cool about this is that it's all themed by Capcom games. And there's four games that are part of the bar. So you have uh, Gyakuten Saiban, which is Phoenix Wright. And uh, Sengoku Basara, which is, I guess, Basara in uh, English. And Biohazard, which is Resident Evil. And, of course, Monster Hunter. So here's the bar. Um, just a quick shot of where I'm sitting. It's not a very big place, but it's, you know, it's brightly lit and it's, you know, full of fun. So, yep, here's some Capcom stuff that they have out. Asura's Wrath, which is going to be awesome. And Street Fighter Cross Tekken and, of course, more Monster Hunter. And, yeah, here's the bar. Just quick view of everything. There's the menu. And the menu is pretty cool. It has lots of Capcom characters. And here, I'll take the menu in a second. Let you sh let you see some more of it. But all the, th all the food on the menu is themed by game. So when you go through the pages, you'll see this is... That's a Basara dish there on the left. And... That salad is like a biohazard, well, Resident Evil salad. And you can see that's from Monster Hunter meat and zombie meat. And yeah, some Phoenix Wright pasta. <laughs> it's pr it's pr The theme stuff is pretty cool. The names are all named after the game too, so it's kind of cool. Zombie cake, well, brain cake, that stuff is good. There's better shots of it later. And the Monster Hunter stuff is pretty... Uh, there's a lot of... That's drinks, mostly, but... There's some pretty cool ones in there that are at least interesting to look at. It's, it's a lot of fun, actually. The whole bar is a lot of fun. And drinks. More drinks. And some of them are alcoholic and some of them are not, so... There's a, there's a good selection. Well, here's some food. And the first thing we're looking at here is the green herb salad from Resident Evil. Green herb salad. And this is actually a Phoenix Wright thing. I don't... That uh, little thing is supposed to be like a judge's gavel. It's a, it's actually a croquette, but... There, I pick it up. The judge's gavel. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's... A, uh, ice cube shaped like a brain with uh, the flavor in a kind of needle. It's kind of cool. That's the T-virus vaccine, I believe it's called. Might be G-virus. And this thing right here that just got put down is uh, Monster Hunter Mini Meat. It's it's actually pretty good. It's like meat of some kind wrapped on a bone with bacon. It's really good, but small. Uh, and here's my drink, which is a Monster Hunter energy drink. Not an energy drink, but like a life refilling potion, I guess. Health potion. It was pretty good. It was kind of minty with honey. It was carbonated. It was really good, though. I don't I don't know. That doesn't sound appealing, maybe. But it was actually quite good. So here's the brain cake. The Resident Evil brain cake. And this was pretty awesome. You can see, like, I'll, I'll cut it open here in a second. But uh, it's kind of awesome. Cut it open, and there's a little surprise on the inside. But it comes with its own, like, little katana it's pretty sweet um, you can open it up there and you'll see the 
The inside has some kind of raspberry brain filling. The whole thing is kind of raspberry and vanilla. It's really good. It looks kind of... It looks cool and it's good, so it's a bonus there. And, yep, here is the other dessert we got. It's the uh, Sengoku Basara dish. And it's actually fruit on the side and inside the bowl there is some kind of uh, on pudding, anko pudding, and mochi with with green tea. And there's the drink with the brain ice cube and the brain cake and more brain cake. And here's just a little overview of the bar. They actually told us we weren't allowed to take video in the bar, so couldn't take much video, but they said you could take pictures of anything, so I took some more pictures. Here's some more inside of the bar pictures. So, yep, that's uh, the Capcom bar. It was pretty fun. If you're in Tokyo, definitely hit up the Capcom bar, and you'll definitely enjoy it. So... Yeah, that's me at the end there, signing off, I guess, for the Capcom bar in Tokyo. So, if anyone was interested in it and wanted to check out more stuff, definitely go to it when you're in Shinjuku, because it's not so pricey, and the food was really good, and really, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, besides that, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.